Okay, so question seven. Draw the Lewis structure for COCl2, including lone pairs. What is the molecular shape? Is the carbon chlorine bond polar or nonpolar? Is the molecule polar or nonpolar? Okay, so first let's calculate the total valence electrons in the molecule. And this will help us draw out the Lewis structure. So carbon contains four electrons. Oxygen contains six. And a chlorine atom contains seven. And there are two chlorine atoms, so we multiply this by two. And then if we add these all up, you get a total number of 24 valence electrons. Okay, so now assuming that my carbon is the central atom, because it is the least electronegative, uh, I'm then going to draw all of the terminal atoms. And then from there, I'll show all of the lone pairs on the terminal atoms. Okay, so before I draw the lone pairs on the oxygen, uh, I first like to analyze to see if carbon has a full octet. And you can already see that it does not. So carbon is most likely going to form a double bond with this oxygen since it's least likely to bond one with the chlorine since chlorine already has um, the seven electrons it'll most likely form one with the oxygen so now if i draw a double bond carbon has a full octet and our oxygen atom will then just have two lone pairs and then at this point, I like to count out to see if the total valence electrons is equal to 24. So first, uh, let's recall that each bond contains two bonding electrons. And there are four bonds, so we have 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 3 is 18, 24. So we have a total of 24 valence electrons, so we knew that we know that we drew the Lewis structure correctly. So the next part of the question asks, what is the molecular shape of this molecule? So to answer this question, we are going to use the Vesper theory and we look at our central atom, which is the carbon, and count out how many lone pairs carbon has. So carbon has zero lone pairs. And then we also count out how many bonding atom, how many atoms are bonded with the carbon. So if we count, we have three bonded atoms, which is the one oxygen and the two chlorines. So now let's use the Vesper table to find out its molecular shape. So if we look at the total domains, that is um, three. So when we have three bonded atoms and zero lone pairs, the molecular shape is trigonal planar. Trigonal planar. And also it is sp2 hybridized.
and the bond angle is 120 degrees. And the last, or the third part of the question asks, if the carbon-chlorine bond is polar or nonpolar. Bond. Carbon-chlorine bond. So to find out whether or not a bond is polar or nonpolar, we need to calculate the difference in electronegativity of carbon and chlorine. So let me search electronegativity values. Spelled that wrong, but let's look at this. So the difference in electronegativity of a carbon and chlorine bond. So chlorine has an electronegativity of 3. And carbons is 2.5. So the difference is 0 0.5. And this means that the bond is polar. And we know a bond is polar when it's uh, electronegativity difference is uh, greater than or equal to 0 0.5 but less than uh, 1.69 and we also know if something is polar when it doesn't contain any metals and it's just two non-metals. And the last part is the molecule polar or nonpolar. So if we were to draw out all of the dipole moments that are formed because of these more electronegative atoms, you'd get this the chlorine pulling in its direction because chlorine is much more electronegative than carbon and oxygen is also electronegative as well and it will have a dipole moment of its own but it probably won't be of equal strength to the two chlorine atoms so they all have different dipole moments and they don't cancel each other out so the molecule as a whole is polar as well. Is polar. Dipole moments do not cancel out. Okay, so the junior tutor drew the same Lewis structure and then they wrote out their electronegativity values of both carbon and chlorine. Okay, so the one the values they used had much more significant figures, so they were able to more accurately find an electronegativity difference of 0 0.61, which is greater than 0 0.4. So therefore, this uh, carbon-chlorine bond is polar. The shape of the molecule is trigonal planar. And dipoles do not cancel out, therefore the molecule is polar. Yep, so the solution is correct.